Hi there. This video will describe how to change the basic Unreal lighting, uh, which is a daylight, into a night scene uh, with the visible moon and stars. All right, so uh, I have a basic scene set up here. Uh, I have a directional, the main light source. Uh, I've rotated the angle a little bit, so it's a little longer uh, shadows. Uh, and what else I've also changed is I've changed it to movable uh, light. So it's a dynamic light instead of stationary. Uh, so that way I can make adjustments and it's more natural of lighting. If you wanted to change the static or stationary, then you just need to build the lighting. So I've changed my light source to movable. Okay, so this tutorial will discuss how to convert this daylight scene into a night scene that also has shadows to it. So we're going to make a couple of changes to our main light source and then we'll make changes to a couple other things uh, to be able to turn this into a night scene. So the main light, light source selected, uh, I've also uh, changed the intensity a little bit uh, so I can put that back to the default 10 which is pretty bright uh, but I'm going to change this down to 5 or 0.5 rather so I want to have it be a much more dim lighting so 0.5 for intensity and I can change my light color to more of a, a cooler color so a slight blue color so you can kind of see the color change there so not really blue but a slight blue something like that so it's more cooler color nighttime color and that's all I'm going to do for the sun. I'm going to keep the sun direction where it is. Um, if you want to have what will be the moon be lower, then we can lower the angle more. So rotate that sun more and then rebuild the lighting. So it takes a second for it to rebuild that lighting. But then that way that will reposition the sun, which will be our moon, to a lower angle somewhere down here. So I'm going to let it build the lighting there and then you'll see the change of the sun. So if you do change the light angle on a different position for the sun, then it's going to change. Uh, then you need to build the lighting and that will change the sun angle. Okay. We're going to change the colors of the background. Let it finish building that. There you go. So the light angle is different now. Uh, much more lower sun position. So that will be our moon position. We're going to go find our atmospheric fog, which is this icon right here. It looks like a couple of clouds. And make some adjustments here. Uh, we're going to change the sun default brightness to zero. So that's not really going to give a visual change right now. But we'll be able to see that change in a little bit as we start to add this. Um, I can change the sun multiplier, which is how uh, bright the sun is. And look at that. So I'm going to leave that as, as default for right now. Okay, the next thing I'm going to select is the sky sphere. And if you can actually visually click in the sky around it or come over here in the ward outliner. And I can also change the sun brightness so I can make it glow more for a moon. I would not want it to be that crazy. So we'll drag it back down, something like 45. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to increase my brightness for my stars. We really can't see them just yet, but let's put them at 10. <clears throat> we'll come back and change that, make that adjustment later. Uh, once we see the stars, I'm going to uncheck colors determined by uh, was it sunlight or light source, sun position. There you go. So I'm going to uncheck that so that I can make my adjustments to the colors to make it look more like a night scene. All right, so down here underneath the override settings, I can change my zenith color to a much darker color. That's the color furthest away from the horizon line. So let's drag that really far down, really dark, dark blue. Almost black, but a dark blue. The horizon color, I'm going to change this from the ramp to just a very dark blue as well. There you go. So that makes it look like it's kind of a night scene all the way down to the horizon line. Um, I can change my cloud color if I want to to be a darker color. I think that's okay for now. Uh, and the overall color, I can change this to kind of a dark blue as well. So my cloud color and everything will be kind of a darker blue. If I wanted that to look there as well. Okay. I can also kind of cancel that and kind of see what that looks like without it. So maybe we'll change that to a darker color. Something like that. Okay. We can also go in, uh, change our zenith color back down a little bit more. Okay. So we have more of a night scene. Okay, maybe our overall color is a little bit too dark now. A little bit blue there. 
Here we go. All right, so one other thing is that we have auto exposure on. So if I turn off uh, the game settings uh, and then change my uh, EV100 brightness, then I can change my contrast so it looks more like a night scene. If I hit play though, it'll auto expose still. So it's gonna auto expose it back. So what I can do is go to my project settings, edit project settings and type in exposure and turn off auto exposure. <clears throat> okay, so that way in the play settings it won't auto expose the level. So it will be a kind of a night scene here. There you go. So two things. In the lit I'm going to uncheck game settings and then change my EV100 setting. And then in the project settings I'm going to find exposure and turn off I'll turn off auto expose so that way it looks like a night scene now okay one more thing is we're gonna open up the sky sphere the blueprint for the sky sphere it's like the sky sphere, sky sphere in the world outliner I'm gonna click edit BP sky sphere and we're gonna change it so that we can see the actual uh, stars because right now we're simulating a night scene but we are um, um, we don't see the stars really so we want to be able to see that. So here is my uh, BP Sky Sphere. We need to make a couple adjustments to these two specific graphs, update sun direction and refresh material. And this is a longer kind of chain that determines the light angle and everything. We'll come all the way to the right side to this area that says sun height and this select fl float. So I want to change the sun height uh, attribute to a new custom attribute. So in our variables, we're going to come over to variables and click variable. And we're going to call this sun height change. And we're going to change that to a float. I'm going to compile so that gives me a default value, sun height change value. And we're going to change that value to negative one. So as default, this sun height is set to zero. But we want to use a different value. So we're going to change this to a new variable, sun height change. And we're going to drag in a get of that sun height change. And this new sun height change is negative one. And I'm going to funnel that into this uh, absolute one and into this less than zero. Okay, so it just replaces the sun height. What this is going to allow us to do is be able to see the stars even if the sun is above the horizon line. Uh, this original one says the sun has to be below the horizon line in order for the stars to be visible. So now if I go back, I can do the same thing for the refresh material as well. Let's go to the refresh material, go all the way to the right, drag in our sun height change, get sun height, and then replace to the uh, ABS and less than. Compile. Save. So now I should be able to see my stars in my night scene. Okay. All right, so let's, uh, let's go play. So now I see my uh, moonlight, it's really still the sun, but moonlight, I see my stars, I see the clouds, looks like a night scene now. Okay. So one last thing we can do is go back to our sky sphere and play with that star's brightness so I can increase that more or lower that some if I wanted less brightness for the stars. So really quick and easy, that's how you can uh, change the default lighting, the light source and the sky sphere to a night scene. Alright, so that'll wrap up this video on how to convert our day scene into a night scene.